Hi, welcome to this episode of Millennial Pocket. Today we're going to be looking at who invented Bitcoin. Ever since Bitcoin's creation in 2009, the cryptocurrency has increasingly gathered global interest. In fact, today it's the world's most well-known cryptocurrency. Bitcoin's most unique advantage comes from the fact that it was the very first cryptocurrency to appear on the market. It has managed to create a global community and give birth to an entirely new industry of millions of enthusiasts who create, invest in, trade and use Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in their everyday lives. But who invented the most popular cryptocurrency in the world? Who is Satoshi Nakamoto? Let's take a look! Bitcoin's original inventor is known under a pseudonym, Satoshi Nakamoto. In August 2008, the domain name Bitcoin.org was quietly registered online. And two months later, Nakamoto published Bitcoin's white paper on a cryptography mailing list, in which he described in detail how a peer-to-peer -peer online currency could be implemented. Nakamoto proposed to use a decentralized ledger of transactions packaged in batches called blocks and secured by cryptographic algorithms. The whole system would later be called blockchain. On January 3, 2009, Nakamoto mined the first block of the Bitcoin network known as the Genesis block, thus launching the world's first cryptocurrency. Over the course of the next 20 years, a total of 21 million coins will be released, and to date about 18.5 million have been mined. After the official launch of the first version of Bitcoin software, Nakamoto collaborated with software developers and coders online over the next couple of years to improve the software. In 2010, the value of a single Bitcoin was roughly 8 cents, and by the end of the year, the total value of the cryptocurrency topped $1 million. However, no one ever knew the true identity of Nakamoto, as experts believe the pseudonym could have represented either one person or even a group of people. Several individuals have been proposed, but none have been proven to be Satoshi Nakamoto beyond a doubt. But before I will dive into five candidates in this video, we have to keep in mind two facts. The first one is that Bitcoin was coded in C++, and the second one is that Satoshi had two language quirks. When he wrote in the Bitcoin forum, he used two spaces after a period, and also British English, judging by his spelling and colloquialisms. This perhaps was the most high-profile attempt to reveal Bitcoin's founder. Newsweek in March 2014 identified Dorian Nakamoto, a Japanese-American retired physicist and well-educated engineer, as the currency's creator. Publication of the article caused chaos in the crypto space and wider tech community, as this was the first time a mainstream publication had attempted to learn the identity of Bitcoin's creator. Newsweek claimed several similarities between Satoshi Nakamoto and Dorian Nakamoto. For example, both supposedly held libertarian leanings and a Japanese connection. Dorian Nakamoto always denied he was Satoshi, and while many didn't believe he was Bitcoin's founder, the crypto community was shocked his privacy had been violated. So later, an online campaign raised more than 100 Bitcoins on his behalf, a community's way of saying thanks. Aside from sharing the same name as Bitcoin's creator, there is virtually no reason why Dorian Nakamoto should be Satoshi. It's known that Hal Finney, a software developer, worked pretty close with Satoshi helping him to fix bugs in the early days of Bitcoin. Additionally, Finney lived two blocks away from Dorian Nakamoto, giving rise to theories that he might have used his name as an alias. The very first Bitcoin transaction was completed between Satoshi and Finney nine days after its creation. As the first respondent to Satoshi's mailing list post announcing Bitcoin and the recipient of the first Bitcoin transaction, Hal Finney embodies Bitcoin more than any other known person. In 2009, Finney was diagnosed with ALS, and that period coincides with when Satoshi would slow down posting in the Bitcoin email forum. However, for Satoshi to have essentially conversed with himself and transacted with himself in dealing with Finney, 
doesn't make sense for a character who went to such lengths to conceal his identity. Another candidate is Nick Szabo, a Hungarian-American computer scientist and cryptographer. Szabo graduated from the University of Washington in computer science and is also proficient in law and economics. He has been in crypto since the 90s and worked for David Chow at DigiCash, an electronic money corporation which was the first attempt to bring crypto digital payments. In 2008, Szabo conceptualized a decentralized currency he called Bitgold, a precursor to Bitcoin. Bitgold was similar to the Bitcoin concept, whereby a series of bits created by a network of computers without a leader verify and validate transactions. Another hint is that Satoshi's IP address was in California where Sabo worked, and that address happened to have his initials in it, NS. However, Sabo has consistently denied being Satoshi, and despite being a giant of blockchain technology, he didn't code much in C or C++, and his writing didn't match the British linguistic clues. In 2016, Australian scientist and entrepreneur Craig Wright claimed to be the creator of Bitcoin. He fits the British clue and also has been running Bitcoin since 2009. Wright also led a contentious fork of Bitcoin Cash, forming Bitcoin SV. And he is chief science officer at NChain, a blockchain solutions business that serves enterprise customers. There were leaked emails and correspondence with Wright's lawyer that referenced a P2P distributed ledger, and leaked transcripts of meetings with attorneys and tax officials quoted him as saying, I did my best to try and hide the fact that I've been running Bitcoin since 2009. By the end of this, I think half the world is going to bloody know. End quote. Those claims were soon thrown into doubt. Wired magazine reported several inconsistencies in Wright's story. For example, the blog entries appeared to be backdated, and evidence also suggested that public encryption keys linked to Satoshi Nakamoto were also backdated. Even Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin, who is otherwise reticent about politics in the cryptocurrency world, came out against Wright, publicly calling him a fraud. Adam Back seems to be the perfect match for Satoshi Nakamoto. Back is a British cryptographer and the CEO of Blockstream, which he co-founded in 2014. When he was young, he taught himself coding, and years later he got a computer science PhD in distributed systems at the University of Exeter. Back was an early pioneer in the digital currency search, and in 1997 he invented Hashcash, a proof-of-work system which is used in the Bitcoin mining process. He is also known for promoting the use of ultra-compact code, with his two-line and three-line RSA in Perl signature file and non-exportable t-shirts to protest cryptography export regulations. In forums, Back wrote in British English and used the unique double spacing. Additionally, he codes in C++ very well. Back was one of the first two people to receive an email from Satoshi Nakamoto and their messages are not available to the public. Another clue that it could be him is the fact that in 2013, when the wealth of Satoshi was revealed, Back signed up to that Bitcoin forum on the same day. However, Back wanted to keep Bitcoin block size small for profit, and that makes us wonder why he would want any money at all if Satoshi would be rich at that point. There are many others who've been named as Satoshi. Most people who are hung up on the enigma of who Satoshi is or was would concede that it would be best for Bitcoin if his identity was never discovered. But as Albert Einstein said, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existence. Who do you think is the right candidate for Satoshi Nakamoto? Who would you add to this list? Please let me know in the comments section below. Leave a like if you got some value from this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Feel free to follow us on Instagram, we post every day there. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time. <laughs>